Hey everybody, Logan here, and today, well, we clicked on a video, you know it. Now, this is an unboxing and testing for controller first of two. We're gonna have a follow-up video to this one as well. Um, and the company, I've never heard of, but I've seen these on Amazon. And that is the Tech Rebellion LED wireless controller multicolor RGB LED light tube. That's what it says. <laughs> so that's the back of the box. I've seen these on Amazon before. <sighs> the prices fluctuate. Did I get these on Amazon? No, I bought these on, not on, where? You can't tell it by there, but I got these at Burlington Goat Factory. Apparently they are more than great coats. Eh. Uh, okay, that's an old commercial. Do they still do that? I don't know. I don't know. So they had a number, a slew of Switch controllers. Actually, they were just like three different ones. Um, and they were all just different colors. This one they had in the clear, as you see here. There was a smoked one where it was a black clear plastic of smoke. And another one that's yellow, but it looks like... P. So I decided to go with the clear one and I was like, oh, okay, you know what? I got to test this out and see if it's any, any good or worth it at all. Because this was a $22.99 controller and I've seen them on Amazon ranging anywhere from 20 bucks to about 30 something dollars. But the same exact one that looked just like that where it has the light tube around it. So as you guys know, I do like afterglow controllers and uh pdp well they're the ones who make the afterglows you guys have seen my videos for those i have them on the switch as well as the xbox so when i see light up controllers like this i have to i have to snatch them up so like i said burlington coat factory if you have one near you if you like this controller after this video you might want to go pick one up hopefully it's a solid replacement or substitute for pro controller especially at this price but i don't know i don't know yet at this point in the video still in the box so i'm gonna shut up hit that intro and open up this sucker welcome to red bandana gaming the channel where logan will show you everything from gameplay to gear their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere releases to Okie dokie. So here we go. Grab my trusty little knife because we're going to need that. But uh, look, you can try me. Try me. There we go. That's kind of interesting. So I guess that's like the, the demo mode. Uh, so let's take a look at the box, what it says. 8 to 10 hours of play. Wireless connection. 6 axis sen 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 sensor. Turbo function, vibration function, Nintendo Switch Lite, Switch, and Switch OLED model compatibility. Same thing. Yep. So, nothing too fancy on this box. So, like I said at the beginning, this is from Tech Rebellion. Never heard of them, but I wouldn't be surprised considering there's like, oh, oh one more. Uh, a number of these variants of controllers on Amazon. Uh, I'm going to say these are just those typical ones that are used or made in China and then a bunch of other companies. I think it even says 2022 on the bottom. 2022. So this is a, a fairly new model. There we go. Oh, no cable. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, I spoke too soon. So it comes with a, oh, it's a type C. Well, it is 2022. All right, there is the user manual.
Okay. Turbo function. Turbo function looks to be exactly the same as all the other turbos where you just hold the turbo button and then press what whatever button you want. Yep. Yep. Yep, and deactivate it the same way. Alright. So, RGB light control. Press the RGB control button to select lighting mode. Mode 1, rainbow spectrum glowing lights. Mode 2, solid lights. Mode 3, uh, lights off. Indicator. RGB control. Okay, so that is this button right here. Alright. So... That's the home button. Now we pull the switch in here. Uh, so we do that. Change grip order. Is it the standard way? Doesn't look like it. So, all right, let's take a look. Not as simple as some of the other ones. How to calibrate the controller. Factory motion control, calibration, calibrating joysticks, wireless pairing. Turn on the Nintendo Switch from the home menu, select system settings, airplane mode, Bluetooth, select on. Well, it's already on. Step three from the home menu, select controllers. All right, so this one you got to do controllers. Uh, change grip order, which I already had. Press, okay. So this one is more like the 8-bit do ones where you have to press home and Y. All right, so home and Y. Oh, see how it goes much faster? Home and Y. Okay, so even though it says only do it once here, you actually have to do it, let it do it, and then the lights will turn off and then do it again. All right, so this is the mode controller. Okay, let's take a look at that again. Mode 1, rainbow spectrum glowing lights. Mode 2, solid lights. All right, but how do you change the modes? It just says RGB control. Is there a mode button? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so it just says press that button. It doesn't say anything in particular. Okay, all it does is seem to, it seems to only have two modes where it does that. Okay, so there it's solid, but I guess you, <laughs> all right, so this is one. I guess when it flashes, you have to just find the one that you like and then tap it again. So that'll turn it off. That will go like that. And then that pulsates, I guess it changes colors that way. Yeah, and then you have to wait until you see whatever colors you like and then tap it again. That's the only thing I can see on how that would work because here it doesn't say exactly how to cycle or going through any of it. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Do not see anything here about that. Maybe I'm blind. I don't think so. All right. So let's get past that. So now we know that's the, the lighting feature and it's just a literal light tube that goes around the controller. So it's kind of interesting, and seeing right here, you do have the actuator, so you're guaranteed not HD rumble. Uh, you have a built-in uh, wireless battery. You can see everything from the get, type C, and then the buttons. Everything seems fine. The only thing that got to me was this weird texture along the outside of the joystick. That's interesting. The D-pad seems fine. All the other buttons seem pretty standard. Nothing fancy. This looks like one of those generic controllers. Uh, we'll see how good it is, and we'll check out some of the other features. So let's move this here, and then 
Let's go back. Okay, normally I try, let me get this out of, out of view. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so let's move that up there. Okay, how's that looking? That's looking pretty good. Normally I try Cruise and Blast, but this time I also decided to download uh, Crisis because I have it and it uh, it's solid when it comes to motion control. So let's try Crisis. Do, 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 do. But the colors, the colors aren't bad. The colors aren't bad at all. So, all right, are we going to sync? Ah, ooh, that's a that's a quite a steady rumble there. It's an intense rumble. Oh, I didn't download my save. That is fine. Ah, there we go. So this is the first time I've played it on this OLED. I've played it before on my other ones. So hopefully I'll just skip to the beginning. Now, one thing is I forgot how long this game takes to load on the Switch. So that loading took a little while. Um, huh. All right, let's try the go down to options. Now, the the stick feels like there's a slight bit of delay. Let's do controller settings and invert look. Yes, gyroscope. All right. Transmitting the coordinates now. Oh. That's actually much okay. the The thing is, this this stick. There we go. It it feels like it's sticking quite a bit. Um, yeah, as, as you turn or spin, it feels like it's sticking. So that's a little weird. All right, so we can just. Hmm. So I can move this way, but it doesn't really help you turn. The gyroscope, it doesn't feel bad, but it's not very accurate, if if that makes any sense. Um, it moves with you. It's just, as you can see, look how much I turn the controller and how little you actually move here. So... Like the buttons don't feel bad at all. It's just the gyroscope I don't think is that good. Hmm. The rumble's not bad. It's standard rumble like you would find in any of the, I guess, third party controllers. Because it's definitely not HD rumble. Hmm. I don't know. It feels like there's a bit of delay in the con uh, control stick input. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'd recommend this. Even at 20 something bucks, there are better ones out there. The PDP or uh, Power A, it, at least they're responsive. They're very precise. So this has a cool afterglow look, uh, light up, tube glow, whatever you want to call it, RBG, <laughs> RGB look. But I think you can find better controllers out there. I wouldn't recommend this one. It's the input delay is just far too much. Let's see how it feels on cruising. Uh, that will make my final call on this because cruising is very it relies on the the instant movement of that stick when you're running. Sorry, not when you're running, when you're driving. And it just, 
Ugh. This was bothering me. A first-person shooter should not be that much delay. If you're playing online with, say, Overwatch or Fortnite, you're definitely gonna gonna get hurt. You're, you're gonna get killed. You're going to feel the ramifications. Now, if you're playing a game like, say, Animal Crossing, I don't think it'll be that bad. Okay, sorry. Still one of the best songs in any video game. I always do that. Let's do Death Valley. The D-pad seems fine, though. But how many games actually use the D-pad where you're constantly really fast? I'm pressing the buttons in between, unless you're playing a classic beat-em-up. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. It feels off. Like, I tap the stick and then I move. It's not as drastic as it may seem or look in the video, but I can feel it. Nah, d don't. No, too much Too much input delay. Too too much input delay. Don't go with this one. It's, it's a fraction of an amount but enough to where it will be bothersome to most players. Now, if you're just getting it for a kid, I don't know, because they like it or it's cheap. It isn't the worst controller I've used, but I can't recommend this. Uh, Light-up-wise, yeah, it looks cool. But with that input delay, no. No, definitely not. So there you go. Sorry, Tech Rebellion Burlington Coat Factory Controller. That you can also buy on Amazon. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass on this one. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Sorry this was a little lengthier of a video. Just because I wanted to test more of the features on these. Since they're so inexpensive. It's not like the, the PDP and Power A ones that have all the features are always going to be much better. And most people like to uh, chastise or criticize those. But they're much better third-party controllers hey you can always find some solid ones on amazon but this ain't one of them um i would say if you're looking for something on par uh maybe try the 8-bit do ones i think those are some of the best but hey you can never go wrong with the switch pro controller but if you're trying to save money there are other ways to save it don't purchase this one thank you guys so much for watching again Drop your thoughts, or if you've used these or heard of these or tried them out, drop it in the comments below. And like I said, you can pick up uh, gaming accessories at Burlington, but I don't know if this is the first one. Uh, we'll check the next one and see if that's any decent. But as of right now, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Remember, follow us on our socials. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.